Welcome back to the sports shop. D.R. Reese, K. Mac, Pam Thompson Smith, Lady V, doing what she do, man. Yeah. Organ player, do his thing. You better like jam over there. You got the feeling. You got looking down. Hey, hey, right? I had to break. I had to break all this fun up, but you know we got to pause for the call because right. it's about That's that right. time. Oh, this guy understands it too, though. I, you know, he, <laughs> he, he popping know, in the he, back. He, he popping in the background. There's always more to story <laughs> about my man James White. Brother White, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of things that happened on the sports shop that didn't happen on no other sports <laughs> so, that, that would be true. <laughs> and and the, this is a morning where on this hump day, I think I have questions. Now, I don't have any questions about the Washington Commander. Mm. That, thank thank uh, you, sir. This, this is going to be our year. Oh, my goodness. I, there's definitely more to that story. <laughs> I right. do have, I do have some questions about the times we're in. Have we, have we entered into a time when we now have to be concerned about fan fragility? Mm. Mm. I always thought that whenever we're talking about competitive sports, we're talking about the arena, the place where we develop confidence and courage. Does it really matter what someone else says about me? Is that more important mm. than what I think about myself? Mm. Well, maybe we miss what college sports is about. Is college sports really about a fan base? And what is what is always fascinating about the ACC is the number of fans who are fans and they never attended the university. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Coach That's true. Courtney Banghart was doing an interview where she was speaking her truth. She mm. said it this way, I hate both of them. When she was asked the question at the end of her interview, and it was a playful conversation, in many ways they were close to the interview, and she said, we're talking about NC State and Duke. She says, I hate both of them more than I probably should because I don't have the history that everybody else has. Duke is a national and international rivalry that I love. I have more respect for Duke. I like beating them because they are more relevant. And then she essentially said that NC State fans are mean and classless. Mm. Well, NC State, the NC State women have dominated the Carolina women. Right. They've won nine out of the last 12 games. Why in the world would a statement bother you? And yet mm. Coach Bankhart did say this. She said, while intending to keep the competitive energy fuel between the two fast, passionate fan bases, I took it too far. I can't carelessly use the word classless in reference to the passionate fans of NC State. And I deeply regret my word choice. It doesn't accurately depict my feelings, for one, and there's no place for name calling. Name calling. Well, maybe I'm insensitive to the idea of name calling because as a black man in America, name calling has been part of the psychological fabric of my life wow. since my existence. That's right. Wow. I thought name calling was part of the social political norms of American life. Ooh. How is it that the person who held the highest leadership role in the land for four years, former President Donald Trump, could be given a pass? Without apology, mm. basement Biden, crazy Joe Biden, crooked <laughs> Hillary, low IQ Maxine Waters. He even insulted Senator John McCain, right. who yeah. was a POW when he said, I like people who would not catch it. Right. James Comey, a slime ball. Mm. And when he said this, when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people who have lots of problems and bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, bringing crime. They're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. What kind of world do we live in when the words of a coach become more important example to our kids than the words of Ooh, someone who was the president good. of the United States? That's pretty good. Maybe when it comes to sports, we need to listen to the words of another president, former President Teddy Roosevelt, mm -hmm. who said it this way. It's not the critic who counts, but the man who points out how the strong man stumbled or where the duel of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the person who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there's no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds 
who knows great enthusiasm, great devotion, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place should never be with those cold, timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Mm. Hey, fan, let's not be fragile. Because there's always more to the story. Drop the mic. Wow. <laughs> Powerful. Woo. I ain't got nothing similar to just Brother White. For me. I forgot he called him uh, name to it. Uh, two words, uh, thank you. Yeah. That's that's all I gotta Yo. say. And, and enjoy the rest of your week. That's all I got. I mean, you can't what else can you say? Man. That's good. And know what what, what what I do, I got I got a bit of comments. It's interesting. You're right, that we we, we, we will get real offended. But somebody, a coach or a player, uh, calling somebody out names. But but we we, we give other people passes. People at the, at the highest level of this right. country, we give them passes. That's right. We give them passes because that's, that, right. that's okay. Interesting. Awesome. And listen, uh-huh. I, think, I think about it. We're talking about women's basketball in August. <laughs> when does that ever happen? I right. know. Right. <laughs> that, that, that's a good point. By the <laughs> way, trust me. When, when NC State play Carolina, it's a lot of people be watching that yeah. game. <laughs> Absolutely. Because there's more to the story. More to the story. <laughs> I told Definitely you yesterday it was story. marketing. <laughs> All right, Y'all take care. Take All care, right. man. Bye, James. Yeah. I wow. Mean, yeah. Good stuff.